so welcome. <laughs> um, this hearing will please come to order. Uh, my name is Dr. Elizabeth Miller, and I will be serving as the hearing officer and be advised by the board's counsel uh, from the Office of the Attorney General. The purpose for, of this hearing is for the board to receive public comment on proposed amendments to the board's current rules, which are in Title 10, Chapter 29, Parts 1, 6, 7, and 9 of the New Mexico Administrative Code. Mr. Michels, you brought up a, a good point, and this was our omission. Um, do you mind being sworn? And um, we are just like any hearing with the board that we ask that uh, people that provide um, testimony do it under oath. So Jan can swear you in. Sir, you, you are changing the rules. No, I just and said we had no, an omission. No, you, 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 but you, the process you sent me here, nothing about that. Okay, well, um, I'll leave it to the hearing officer if she wants more testimony or not, but she may ask for it. You know what? what? I, would, I would agree to be sworn if we could have someone who's representing the change also sworn, so he might be questioned. If I'm to be questioned under the rules, I want a representative who represents these changes also available to be questioned under the rules. If Otherwise, you've got to totally slide the plane through. If the director makes comments, we will swear him in for the record. At this point, we need to swear you in for the record. I am not going to be sworn because he won't be sworn. I just told you that if he speaks, he will be sworn in just as you are. You have no reason to swear me in if it's not part of your process. It is part of our process. Your process it's is a defined step. right here. I asked for your process. I was given your process. This is not part of it. This is part of the boards and commissions process. Sir, you not have to allow me to speak because we cannot talk over each other because our reporter cannot get our words. So, as advised by counsel, we do need to swear you in to take your comment. And it was neglectful on our part to skip over that step right. earlier. So I we are now going to do this if you wish to continue making comments now I, and throughout the rest of the year. I have no objection to be sworn. I have profound objections to having changing the rules as you have done twice already. This, I asked counsel at length for the process you were using today. He presented me with the process you were using today, and now you are changing it on the fly. This is incredible. This is outrageous. I appreciate what you're saying. However, you are making the process up on the fly, counsel. This process that you're implementing here is a boards and commissions process. It is not the process you told me you were using today. Okay, are, are you finished? Um, we're going to ask that you be sworn. You can either swear yourself in or not, and then we'll proceed I, with our hearing. I don't mind being sworn. Okay, I've been sworn in a lot of places, but okay. you are offending all decency with this approach. You're modifying the behavior on the fly and applying it selectively, that is outrageous behavior. Okay, okay Mr. Michaels, your comments, that opinion has been reported three times. We ask today that comments not be oh, repetitive. Okay. And who will swear me? And do I have a Bible? Jan, could we please have, um, do you mind swearing in the witness, please? Raise your right hand. Do you swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I, I still swear under protest because of violation of the procedure supply. And on that note, your comments on part one, section eight, regulations, policies, and procedures for conducting the business of the law enforcement academy. Okay. 